Now to New York City, marking a somber milestone more than 22 years after the September 11th attacks. We have now lost as many FDNY members to 9-11 related illnesses as we did on that dark day in 2001. And thousands of our heroes are still suffering right now. Here's News 4's Jessica Cunnington. FDNY EMT Hilda Venata and retired FDNY firefighter Robert Fulco, two heroes who lost their battles to illnesses linked to Ground Zero. Fulco died Saturday morning of pulmonary fibrosis. He is the 343rd member of the FDNY to pass after September 11, 2001. 343 FDNY members died in the attack on the World Trade Center. 343 more have now died since that day, a grim milestone the department knew would eventually arrive. On September 11th, for most people, it's a part of history. For New York City firefighters, it continues to be an ongoing tragedy as we care for our sick and continue to bury our dead. Right now, there are 11,000 FDNY members that are sick with 9-11 related diseases, 3,500 with cancer. Union officials say each day more members are being diagnosed and that the funding needs to be there to help them. We asked over $2 billion last year, we got $600 million. We really need to push to get more people uh, to get checked out but also to get enrolled, and we need to have that funding there to make sure that everyone that was affected by this can get taken care of. There is a bipartisan push for the Senate passed amendment co-sponsored by Senator Kirsten Gillibrand to help address the funding shortfall in the World Trade Center health program, which is for anyone who was exposed at ground zero, not just first responders. I don't know what else someone could do for another and then be left behind or forgotten or be told that the bill is too high. We are a family and we take care of our, we take care of our family, but sometimes, unfortunately, we've got, got to go down to Washington and remember, remind everyone else that they also made a promise. Preparing to fight till the end for that promise, the sacrifice, and to never forget. Jessica Cunnington, News 4, New York.